entertainment. entertainment. The best entertainment is only to be found in the entertaining of others. Or so I'm told. I don't know, I've never tried it. And this spell is from Wark81, someone I have reason to believe ate a lot more than one. The Lambus were for everybody, Mork. The word is entertainment. entertainment. It is spelled E-N-T-E-R-T-A-I-N-M-E-N-T. Entertainment. Tis whatever entertains. From entertainer, meaning to hold amongst, to intertwine or entangle, to occupy or contain. It's whatever captures and holds the attention, which kind of makes escapist entertainment a contradiction in terms. Hmm? Kind of oxymoronic, like soft rock, jumbo shrimp, unbiased opinions, or wealthy humanitarians. Don't go getting me wrong now. When I say escapist entertainment, I don't mean a night of being blindfolded, bound, and dipped by the ankles into an aquarium full of ice water. That's entertainment for escapists, and I'm all for it. But besides that, it's nonsense. Entertainment can't be truly escapist. It's not. Exitainment. Like it or not, you're coming right back to things as they are. Give, Give them, them bread and circuses, circuses and, and they'll, they'll never, never revolt. revolt, said some ass I didn't vote for, some used to be emperor of some fallen empire. What he meant was feed unpopular people to lions, hang paupers from ropes, train bears to ride tricycles. And maybe nobody gets too interested in what's really going on outside the tent. Maybe nobody gets any big ideas. But I tell you, your circus need not feed you only peanuts. Your circus can be your bread. It can send you out full and ready to fight. So choose your entertainment with care. That's all I'm saying. Because wherever you go when you escape, you bring some home with you. You return from a dream with its sand in your hair. And before you know it, the whole waking world is either a desert or a beach, depending on where you've been. Give me your word. I will spell them.